everyone welcome to gemchem now today's video is on understanding symmetry in inorganic molecules part 4 video already three videos are uploaded in channel you can watch it i will give the link in the description box as well as the i button present above this video and if you are new to gemchem don't forget to subscribe the channel so here in this video we are going to discuss about b2cl4 the symmetry elements involved in it next is h2o2 and the last one is ptcl4 2- so first we are going to discuss about B2Cl4. So as you can see the structure looks like aline. It's present in the organic molecules and here the symmetry elements which we are going to obtain is same for that of aline. So here you can see that one chlorine is above the plane, one chlorine is below the plane and these BB bond and the chlorine present here are in the same plane. So from here only we can understand that there is a presence of 1C2 which is present here and there will be more operations along with that we will also have a E operation right. That is these chlorines are present in alternate vertices and B bond B is placed in between. So we see here that first of all in this case we have a C2 which is passing through this. So here there is a C2. Similarly, another C2 is going to pass through this. This is a C2 and here a C2 is coming towards us and it's going back into the plane. So we have three C2s here. Once we have three C2s along with these C2s along this axis we are going to have a S4 axis. So from here what do we get? One is S4 and we are getting C2s where there are two more perpendicular C2s present. Since we know S4 has two genuine operations S4 1 and S4 3 so we can write it as 2. Now we are going to see sigma present or not. So one of the sigmas you can locate here which is present is this plane. That is starting from this point, coming to this point, another one starting from this chlorine and coming to this chlorine. So if you try to join this, so this is your plane, this is your plane and this is your plane. So this together. So this chlorine will be reflected by this chlorine. So this is a sigma D as it is bisecting or as it is present in between the two C2s. So the sigmas present between two C2 is known as sigma D. Now we are going for our next sigma to find out. So from here if you try to draw if you consider this vertex this vertex as well as this one and this one. So join a plane here then you can get another sigma plane and if you consider here this chlorine is being reflected to this chlorine and this is also a sigma d plane. So the total number of different kinds of symmetry element which we have obtained let us write down first one we have E which is 1 next we have C2 along with it there are perpendicular C2s so there are three C2s two sigma d so there will be two operations and we have a S4 operator that is it is having two symmetry operations. So total we are getting eight symmetry operations and since there is presence of perpendicular C2s so we can write the point group as D2 D right. Now we are going for the, our next molecule which is H2O2. So when you, we are talking about H2O2 always remember that in general we consider the open book structure. So it is looking like a book which is open. So in this case you can have one of the C2s which is present here. So it is coming out of the plane and going below the plane. Once you rotate along this C2 you are going to get a open book structure similar to this one only. So one of the symmetry elements is C2 and no more symmetry elements will be found. So we can write down our first symmetry element as E which is identity operation and the next one is C2 with one operation in it. 
So total number of operations in this case is 2 and our point group in this case is C2. So now we are going to see the symmetry elements of PTCL4 2 minus. This is a square planar complex. So we are considering all the symmetry elements that may be present in a square planar complex. So first of all we have our major axis as C4. Then we can have C2s passing along the bonds or else passing in between the bonds. Similarly, we can have our next one which is sigma. So the sigma which is perpendicular to C4 is known as our sigma H and the sigma which is passing through the bonds and is along the plane of the C4 these are known as sigma v and the next one which we are going to deal with is our sigma d so sigma d is going to pass through in between the bonds that is like this so we get sigma d sigma h as well as sigma v also we can get i present here so as we move along this axis if we go backwards we are going to get chlorine Similarly, for this one also, we are getting chlorine in both sides. And the last one is our S4 axis. Since there is presence of C4 as well as C2 perpendicular to each other, so we will have a S4 axis. So let us write down all the symmetry elements which is present here one by one. We have E, one symmetry element. We have C4 which is three in number as operations are C4, 1, C4, 2 and C4, 3. We have perpendicular C2s which are 4 in number, right? And we have sigma H which is 1 in number. Next we have sigma V which is 2 in number along the bonds. And we have I which is 1 in number. Similarly, we have sigma D which is 2 in number. In between the bonds, it is passing. And for S4, we have it as 2 right so there are total 16 operations and as you can see here there is presence of perpendicular c2s so there is also h present here the name of the point group is d 4 h so here ends the topic of today's discussion in the next video we are going to deal with how to represent these symmetry elements using matrix so hope this was helpful thank you for watching Oh,